Alright, welcome to part three of our missile launch video. Mr. Groff here. Part three, we're going to enter a little asteroid that'll come and try to hit our rocket. Uh, so it shouldn't be too f uh, slow of a video here, too long. Alright, so under the basic palette, you're going to go to animation and go ahead and drag in a ball. And let's go ahead and change the paint color on it to something that'll stand out. There we go. I'm going to try green. And you can always increase the radius if you want it to be a larger asteroid. And let's go ahead and rename it. Instead of ball one, name it asteroid. We're going to put the heading, which is our direction, to negative 90. That way it'll, it'll head south or down towards the rocket. The interval will leave at 1,000 milliseconds. And then the speed, we're going to go ahead and set it at 100. And now if we open the emulator and refresh it, we should start seeing it move here. Um, there we go. All right, so we want to basically change two things. We want to change when it reaches the edge so it'll restart. And we want to change it so it'll track to our rocket. So we're going to open up the blocks here. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. You want to go to My Blocks, go to the Asteroid, and you want to get the one that says When the Asteroid Collides With. And under Name here, let's type in Space and then Ship. And notice that I've capitalized the S in Space and in Ship. So I'm matching it up to this image sprite right here. Alright, so when the asteroid collides with the spaceship, we want it to disappear. So you're going to go to the asteroid, and you want to find the one that says set asteroid.visibility. Set asteroid.visibility to, and we're going to use a logic component, and it'll be false. So that'll make the visibility of it be false. So it'll go away when it touches the spaceship. Now we need to set it so that when it reaches the edge, um, it's going to track basically to the spaceship and it'll be visible again. So under my blocks and asteroid, find the one that says asteroid.edge reached. And then you're going to go to asteroid again and select the one that says asteroid.move2 and we need to set the X and the Y so for the X you're going to go to built-in and math and get the plus sign and you're going to get we want it to track to the spaceship so you're going to select spaceship and you want to find the value for the X of the spaceship and you're going to add a value of 20 so under built-in go to math and you'll select or type in 20 and I've messed around with these values you can always change this number um, on yours to test it out and see like how well it works for the Y we're gonna subtract so we're going to go to built-in math get the subtraction sign and we need the spaceship dot Y block so go to spaceship spaceship.y and we're going to subtract let's start out with 100 so I'm going to copy and paste this control C control V and we're going to type in a value of 100 and before we test it out in the emulator I want to do one more thing let's go to let's go to this right here and do control C like copy control V paste and then we need to change false to true so when the asteroid reaches the edge it's going to move the asteroid according to this right here and it's going to set it to visible again so let's go to the emulator and as I move it should track to the position of the rocket and we can see that that's happening I can also see that it's starting up here so what I'm going to do is make this number larger so I'll put it at 175 and basically you just want to adjust it we want it to start up here where the alien is. So 
sorry about that. We want it to start up here where the alien is. So let's change the pixels to, let's try 175. And basically it's just trial and error until you get it where you want it. Still a little lower. I'll try 190 here. All right, so that's about where I want it. I could go a little higher, maybe 210. There we go. Maybe not that high because I don't want it to touch the alien like it just did. So let's make it so it's below that. It's still touching him, so I'm going to move it down like 190. Basically, you're just going to adjust it uh, till it'll work. And then once you have that, you'll be done with part three.